I just decided that I want my YouTube to be a different kind of space. In a way, I want it to be kind of like a documentary style type of video on kind of just my growth over the years, things that I learned, um, tribulations and like lessons that I go through, growing my business, my businesses, and like just putting my all and my effort into my YouTube channel um, and all that stuff. So I'm just like so tired of being a part of like the rat race and like I was doing TikTok and you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to get into a group chat with a bunch of like amazing women um, that do you know social media pretty seriously and it was just so inspiring to see but I also know how I felt just like feeling like I needed to always post a new video and then like if the video wasn't viral or um something that's trendy like it won't do as well i wasn't able to like really post what i want and i'm not getting paid from these from tiktok yet so i kind of like just thought why am i going the extra miles to try to like fit into this world like on tiktok where it doesn't pay me and it takes a lot of effort to start when i have a platform that does pay me and i you know i, I have put in a lot of work on my youtube channel to get get it to 5,000 subscribers and for me that's like a really big um milestone like that's a pretty big deal for me i remember when i only had like 100 and i kept saying like okay like if i can get at least 5,000 followers i mean or subscribers on my youtube then that's good for me you know like if i grow from there then a great amazing but then if i don't okay at least i know i have a base of people that you know um i can come on here and talk to so i don't know if like you guys may feel like these videos no longer serve you and that's okay because you know we're all just like finding ourselves finding like what we want what we like so it's okay if it doesn't serve you anymore um and i appreciate you know your likes your comments your views your shares for when it did serve you but moving forward i really want to create more meaningful content and i'm learning that like everything that i do doesn't need to fit into a box i'm in like such an in-between place right now in my life where like i'm not completely in this box but i'm not in this box i'm like kind of in the middle with like a mix of this and a mix of that and i'm kind of learning that like you go through experiences like for example all these trends that are coming out on um tiktok and stuff like that you go through these trends you try it out and then you see what works for you and what doesn't just because other people wake up at 4 a.m 5 a.m 6 a.m in the morning doesn't mean that you need to personally i like to wake up at around like seven or like you know seven maybe seven to eight but i don't i don't get hard on myself if i'm not able to or like my body just needs more sleep or stuff like that so um i think it's important to go through different experiences to kind of just see okay what can i take from this experience to kind of just add to me and add like a better just to make myself better like for example i kind of was going through like my when i first started my spiritual journey maybe a couple of months ago it hasn't been as consistent as i want but then i'm also realizing that just because you know i would like to identify okay like yes this is what i believe in doesn't mean that i need to be necessarily like for lack of better words like a hippie i don't need to be completely like not myself i can still take parts of the spiritualistic lifestyle that serves me that makes me feel good like drinking tea twice a day it's kind of like a ritual um you know and then from the other parts of my life like being an entrepreneur and like having to hustle and grind like i don't want to have to feel like i'm in competition but i do like making my own money i do like not having to work for anybody so then i'm going to take those parts of that lifestyle and those parts of that lifestyle and i'm just kind of basically taking bits and pieces of different types of lifestyles different trends and trying it and see if it works for me if it makes me feel better and if it doesn't then that's okay like i feel like people feel like okay if they're gonna do this that girl trend and they have to live that girl lifestyle and that's it you can be a little bit of that girl and still be a little bit spiritual and still be a little bit i don't know like whatever you like you can pick and choose bits and pieces and i feel like that's what make 
that's what makes us as like humans so unique and i feel like we are we are all unique um and that's what makes us unique by just figuring out what we like and don't like and what we do want to adapt to and we don't and then just like having this really big mix of everything and that's kind of just you like i'm a mix of this and that and that and that so that's pretty much what this channel will be about i really and like i said i'm in an in-between space i don't know what my content will look like i know i want it to be meaningful i know that i want to create a community of people that can all sit here and just like be real about how we're feeling um our thoughts our views like uh, i don't want people to be able to i don't want people to come here you know voice their opinions and then like have somebody disrespect them i want it to be a safe space for whatever the topic is for that for that moment right now i've just been feeling like i want to detach from society and focus on my businesses and, and get back that passion that i used to have in my businesses um and just knowing that like running a business is an ever going cycle you have to really be wholehearted wholeheartedly into it um same thing with youtube like i have so many videos that i've been wanting to post for like months guys and videos that like genuinely are on my heart to post but i just haven't so pouring into youtube in its full capacity for me is important as well um reading is has become pretty important to me but reading books that will help me grow financial literacy books and like you know i'm getting into plants and you know all these different parts of me so i kind of just want to just help each other i want to teach you guys lessons that i've learned that maybe my parents haven't taught me i know that when i moved out of my mom's house um, like a year or two ago, there were a lot of things that I did not know. I want to be able to come here and say like, okay, here are some things you need to know before you move out. Here are things you need to know before moving in with your partner or your friend. Like I want to be able to just kind of help all of us navigate our 20s better um, and really just navigating our 20s in a way that will add to our growth because if you're not doing things experiencing things talking to people that elevate your growth and your mental mindset then it's kind of just like a waste you know there are still ways you can grow and still live your life in your 20s to where you don't feel like you're putting things off or stuff like that another thing is i want my channel to be like real and raw and just authentic i don't want to ever feel like i need to like not say this not say that i would like my videos to be very minimally ed edited i want this to just be a space where i can come and decompress and kind of say what's on my mind or say what's on my heart so i don't want it to be somewhere where i need to have it edited and like missing you know i don't want it to be like that because i've had other videos like that and it's just not me and it's never too late i only started actually like growing and like acknowledging myself and like my actions and why i feel the way i feel about certain things literally this year when i turned 22 so you're not late you're not early like whenever you start is when you're supposed to start like everything really does happen in divine timing so that's just good <laughs> and also my hair is like in a twist out i've been trying natural hairstyles because i don't want to put any heat on my hair so that's why it looks like this this is not the style but it's been like this for like two days now so i'm gonna like retouch up the bottoms but but yeah i don't think i'm gonna make this video an actual video but this is what you can expect moving forward meaningful content um content that will be good for the mind the body the soul the entrepreneur the entrepreneurs that will continue watching you know also knowing that life is not just business that's so important everybody thinks that when you have a business it's supposed to be go 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 and i'm learning that that's just not the life that i want like i want to have a business i want to hustle but i don't want hustle culture i don't want to feel like i need to compete with other businesses and i don't want to continuously you know just compare and and just all that stuff and i've actually been thinking about letting go of my social media channels like as far as 
maybe TikTok. TikTok is feels scary for me because that's kind of where I go when I'm procrastinating or like basically just procrastinating and that's where I waste a lot of time at um, TikTok. So to say it, it kind of feels scary, but I know that if I did it, it would be like substantial to my growth. And I was watching the Kanye um, documentary and it kind of just showed me that in order to get to where you want to get to, you have to be like all gas, no brakes. I don't mean like burn yourself out. I mean more so like you need to really have tunnel vision and don't take no for an answer. And I feel like it's hard for me to do that when, you know, like you're seeing everybody else's success, you're seeing everybody's like growth and you may not be growing this quickly. So then it's like, oh my God, why is it that I'm not getting to where I, need, I want to get to? So, I am considering that like I really think it would be scary but I really think it would help me a lot I haven't done like my little tea in a long time I used to do it a month or two ago like um, every morning I would get tea every night I would get tea it just kind of became like mm, I got caught up in like everything else not realizing that like this is what's most important like my mind and my body just being aligned and like you know um so yeah i think i'm gonna end the video here i wanted to just kind of give you guys a taste of what's gonna come on this channel i don't know like my uploading days yet i would like to upload four times a week um they probably will be sit down videos like this um they'll range from anything from like lessons i've learned to maybe some vlogs like I really don't know yet I don't really know what I want the channel to be I just know that I want it to be real and I want it to be all the parts of me like my entrepreneurial part my spiritual part my me reading my you know my, my books and stuff like that but I also want it to be real so it's kind of like trying to find a balance and now that youtube is just kind of so saturated well, all social media is saturated with like just trends and like everybody posting the same type of content i want to be different and for me that kind of just means showing each part of me all sides of me not just the entrepreneurial part not just the the parts of me that like to read and are interested in self-development like all parts of me like so that's what I'm gonna be bringing to this channel. Um, at this point, I'm not really focused on growing my channel. Like if it grows, then good, but I'm not posting these videos like in an effort to double my channel subscribers in a week. Like that's not what my goal is here. It's not about the monetary value, but it is because I get paid if we're being real. So like this is another source of income for me, but I don't want it to be to the point where I'm like flooding you guys with ads and partnerships and sponsorships i don't want it to be that i want it i want it i want you guys to know that when i come on here and post a video you guys can trust what i'm saying and without having to worry about like is she just doing this because she got paid because i know a few youtubers who only post number one when they are doing a sponsorship and to me that just doesn't feel genuine because if you don't post on your tiktok like ever but you only post when you have a sponsorship that kind of just gives it it's mainly about the money not about the passion and and yeah so if you in any way can like relate to how i'm feeling and just wanting to showcase the real you and just be real because i don't want to not create like i love doing youtube i love sitting here posting videos I, I love creating i just want it to be real and i want it to be my way and if that means that nobody watches it but at least i'll be able to get my thoughts out to help one person or maybe one person will be able to relate then that's really all that matters to me like in the end that's that's really that's really it so so please subscribe um stay tuned i i just am happy i was able to get this video out and i just hope that you guys are excited i'm excited for my journey and i'm excited for um just becoming stronger becoming knowing myself better and just exploring all parts of myself and in a way that can hope, hopefully help somebody else. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Comment something, like if you could relate to anything that I've said in this video, whether it was social media or like hustle culture or whatever, like just comment and you know, I'm gonna respond to you guys in the 
in the comments. So I'll see you guys in my next video and